Hi, I'm Eric Lund, President of Veris Technologies. Uh, we're here looking at the Veris assembly area, uh, talking about some of the, uh, the products that Veris has, uh, has made over the years. We started in 1997, we shipped our first Veris 3100 in 1997, and uh, here we are in 2014, and this unit is headed out the door uh, later on today. We still make this model. So the very first sensor that we developed was uh, soil conductivity, soil electrical conductivity, where we inject electric current into the soil with a series of bits and then make the voltage stop uh, in the soil. That relates primarily to soil texture, which is useful in, in nitrogen management and uh, of course it relates to water holding capacity and, and so productivity as well. We've continued to expand the soil electrical conductivity uh, sensor line. This uh, model folded up here on, on a shipping pallet is, is also going out today. Uh, this is our model uh, Q2800. Uh, Q kind of stands for quad bike, what they call ATVs in Europe. Uh, so it's designed to be pulled by ATVs and, and, uh, and UTVs as well. So it's a, a different way of doing soil electrical uh, conductivity. One of the sensors that we've developed in the last few years is a sensor that maps organic matter on the go. Uh, we call it the optic mapper because it uses uh, optics to do that. It uses a red and infrared LED lights uh, shining down into the soil and measuring the, the, the uh, soil color, soil darkness and lightness, and relating that to organic matter. So that sensor is mounted under what looks like a, just a normal uh, planter type row unit. It has a, uh, a, 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 I don't know if you can see the post here, but it has a shoe on the bottom that has a, a, a sapphire window running along the bottom of it. So as this planter row runs in the soil a couple of inches in, in, in depth, this optical shoe is running down in the soil, uh, measuring the organic matter uh, down in the soil. So this sensor measures soil uh, pH. It's called the pH manager. And as this sensor goes through the field, as, uh, the sample shoe lowers into the soil. It scoops up soil. pH electrodes are pressed into that soil core measures the pH, the system cycles down, gets another sample, discharges the previous sample, and then that process just repeats itself as it goes through the field. So when we combine all three of these sensing technologies, soil electrical conductivity, soil organic matter, and soil pH on the same machine, we call it the MSP3, or Mobile Sensor Platform 3. This is now our, our number one selling product. Um, we're selling these all across the country, really all around the world. The people who are buying these, the customers for these, are um, primarily uh, seed dealers who are looking to do variable rate seeding prescriptions for the customers, uh, fertilizer dealers, fertilizer retailers who are looking to do the same and also to uh, develop uh, very bright applications for uh, fertilizer and lime, uh, but also large farmers, farmers with uh, several thousand acres of their own land, they can look at the cost per acre to hire the mapping done and the, the cost of the equipment and, and pencil out pretty quickly that buying one of these machines uh, you know, is a good way to do it for themselves. So there's a number of applications, as I mentioned, variable applications of uh, fertilizer, lime, seed, uh, variable hybrid is now you know, coming up on the market, um, variable irrigation, variable nitrogen, basically any input that a farmer has on his field uh, a, a map of, of soil, a precise map of where the soil changes in the field can be a really helpful way to do a better job at that. So there, there really aren't competitors in the traditional sense of the word for Veris. Uh, you know, people that do this, this type of mapping. So our competition really is uh, not, not doing anything, just not doing precision ag, that's competitive. Uh, doing perhaps grid sampling rather than you know, a more detailed soil map using a, a soil survey, a free you know, government soil survey. Those are kind of the main competitors. And, and precise mapping on a you know, 60 foot by 60 foot kind of cell size is just so much more precise than, than grid sampling or, or, very, or uh, uh, USDA soil surveys. So really the advantage is just precision and getting the, the uh, input that you're putting on really where it needs to go and not just where a coarse sample told you to put it. Best way to contact us is our website, veristech.com, and uh, just to shoot us an email from that or give us a call. Our phone numbers are all 
on there as well. So just contact us and we'll, we'll get you started.